everyone, how are you doing? Um, it's Monday, it's day two of our training together. But my intention is not to focus on maths at the moment. My intention is to, to focus on where you're at and everything you're trying to do and learn from each other. So today's session, as you can see, is getting and keeping moving, both the, us maybe and definitely the children. Um, a maths link specifically, when I do my early years training in maths and I do one that is a, a, a whole day course on developing mark making and I think people are really surprised that you know mark making the ability to mark make begins in your back muscles that's going to sound so strange but I had a very a quite serious spinal injury a few years ago and one of the things I learned was um, I couldn't even hold a magazine in my hands when my spine was broken. It was my very bottom of my spine. And I realized that all of the strength in my arms came from the bottom of my spine and that I just didn't know that. So when children are trying to control a tool to write with and mark make with, that strength is actually starting in their back. So bending, crawling, dancing, rolling, running, skipping, twisting, all these things are essential to become a mark maker, as well as a healthy human being, of course. The second point is about patterns and rhythms. I've just been writing for a publisher recently. I did quite a lot of research on this. But when you think about rhymes that, uh, you know, that you recite and songs that have choruses, the predictability of what you're coming back to and where there is a pattern and where the pattern changes um, and the way you can move and do actions, you know, that is highly mathematical. That is using the brain's mathematical capabilities and also building the brain's capabilities as well. Um, maths and music are incredibly closely linked as structures and not everybody's you know, maybe thought about that. So great opportunity for us to reflect on it now. Uh, building neural pathways, whenever you sing a song with number names in, we know that's not going to teach you to count, but it's giving you a skill that will help you to learn to count, because if you don't know the number names of your language in order, you can't then use them as you learn to understand what counting is. Um, many other examples like that, but I would really think about lovely songs that involve increasing numbers, reciting numbers, going forwards, going backwards, because, you know, again, we don't want to mistake this for being able to count. That's different, but it is part of counting. And something I've, I've made a video for you, which I haven't posted yet, about how important talk is in mathematics. Um, verbal reasoning is essential for mathematical development um, or an essential part of, you know, if you if you can't speak, of course, you can still learn maths, but those, if you can talk, and most, <clears throat> excuse me, of our children can, the process of getting what's in your head out through your mouth as, as words is so beneficial in your mathematical development. And too many of our children aren't talking enough. They're not talking in full sentences. And, and at another time when I do more training, I'll talk about the fact that we often put words into their mouths rather than really, really listening effectively. So that's, again, something we can come back to. Um, so what I'd like you to do for task one is either share a link to a PE routine that's online for the rest of us. So put a link to that. Um, if you can make it a hyperlink, that would be great. Um, being physical outdoors. So there's kind of going to be three aspects to this. The first was doing PE and having some help online with that, Joe Wicks and co. The second one is about support for being outdoors. I know some of you have already mentioned are in areas that's either very, very urban or very hot. And obviously things will be different there. Um, so this very much is aimed at people who can get outside either into a garden or, um, you know, prep would be brilliant if it was a woodland or anything like that. Um, have a look. I wanted to be very specific because there's a lot of stuff out there, but have a look at Creative Star Learning by the wonderful Juliet Robertson, who is, I'm very proud to say, is a friend of mine now through the work that I do and she does. Um, go and have a look at her work and see what uh, what she's been doing. I'm just gonna, oh, there's another little correction there. Um, she wrote a post today called the 10 wishes post. So part of task two that I'd like you to do, that doesn't wanna go the right way around, 
um, is to go and find Creative Style Learning Facebook page, look at the 10 wishes post, get to know her page a little bit as well. Oh, I just realized what I've done. That's a smiley face, isn't it? It's not a bracket. This is when you try and multitask, it just doesn't work or it doesn't with me anyway. The second one is this uh, learning to learn outdoor learning and play for parents educating at home. That is also a Facebook page. It's a group. So task two, go and have a look at those two sites. Um, let me know what you think of the quality of what they're sharing and the suitability. And if you have any ones that you already use and you think are brilliant, then again, put put that down as a link and I can share that with the rest of the group. That would be fantastic. Third thing, this is the final thing. So we've had the PE, we've had the outdoors and now we've got singing and dancing. So I've not yet met a child who doesn't like singing and dancing, but I thought I better put most in case you have. Uh, but you think, God, this is this is so free and wonderful and go dancing with siblings, dancing with parents, uh, you know, dancing with anyone. As I said there, you know, the pet probably I know my dog likes to dance, but the cat definitely less so. Um, but have a look at things that you, you know, share what you would recommend. But here's some recommendations from me. So I have to warn you, something that's coming up is that uh, you might really, really hate me for this and you'll have to decide whether you're going to inflict this on the parents or they might end up really hating you too. So just wait and see what that is. But here, these are what I'm going to call hard copies. These are, are books that I've got and CDs. Um, if This book is, is older than me, this, this version of it anyway. Uh, but this is a fantastic book. This is the same book, but in two different versions. It's uh, over 50 years old and it is full of lovely rhymes and songs to well-known tunes and things like that. It's a gorgeous treasury. So buy it now um, and have it forever for your children because it is wonderful. This sort of stuff here, this is um, I think it's Kay Omansky, who I've got a lot of her stuff you can't see on the bottom there, but let's go um, Zudio. So have a look for things like that, really good. This is A&C Black, who I have had their books for years. Always well-known tunes, but of course, not always well-known to our younger parents now, I've noticed, or younger teachers, but well-known tunes and different words. And this sort of thing here, which is a, a CD. So and again, these are just things that I've got that I use to develop whole body strength and so forth. So can you as a task, please, that's as I think it's the third task, just tell us what you recommend, put a few examples together, that would be great. So what I have got for you, there's a final two points. There's a slide in the wrong place and I'll just move that in a moment. Um, oh, this is kind of task three, part two, I think. Uh, there's a, a, a song called Every Little Cell, and I'm wondering if you've heard it. If you have, I say you might absolutely hate me for this, but I'm just going to play a bit of it and uh, see what you think. Make yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Okay, that's quite enough of that. Let me just get back to my presentation. Oh, my husband of all people about a week ago came over and played that to me. And it just got like the worst earworm in my head ever. So treat this with caution, guys. You know, make sure that you did hear me with a caveat under this. But I thought, apparently this is quite old. They've been talking about it as if it's just come along, but I've seen that it's at least sort of four or five years old. With what we're facing now, if you decide to use this, I wondered if there's a chance to get the children to slightly alter the words. So when I was sort of thinking about keeping every cell in your body healthy and maybe putting in something about hand washing. So you do it as a little task because it's so repetitive to put some new words in that really stress some important messages and maybe some reassuring messages as well about staying home safely. So please feel free to think that's the worst idea in the world and reject it. Um, and I will not be offended at all. Right, last one. 
You can see, can't you, by Friday, this is just going to be a road crash. You know, it's going to be an absolute car crash of, of a mess. I shall try and keep things professional. Okay, so the last one that you might want to share with parents to help you do all of this is I, I was looking up some research and thinking what would be easy to share. And I thought this was really nice. This is some little videos. The children are not as young as the children we're talking about here, but of course, that doesn't matter at all. Um, it's an American site on 10 benefits of physical activity with a little video and also you can see at the bottom there's 12 ways families can stay active after school. So it's just direct support and help as well. Okay, please give me your feedback. Um, I hope this is helpful. I will of course put the slides on the page in the files. Uh, keep in touch. Let me know if you're keeping up with the tasks. I'm trying to keep them very specific, very simple and enjoyable for you to do, but I will really welcome your feedback. So stay safe, everybody, and I look forward to hearing from you very soon.